Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top lending borrowing coins by market cap. We'll start with Maker, followed by Ave, Compound, Liquidity, Venus, Celsius, Euler, Maple, TrueFi, and then Ramp. Let's get straight into it. Maker against BDC. Mm, we love this. We love what we're seeing on Maker. We think that uh, Maker is going to complete a very nice squeeze and it's going to blast off uh, towards the moon eventually, eventually. Um, right now, we are already quite overbought. Uh, I can count five waves. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, right? Even the five waves, I can count sub waves. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We're very close to the end. We're very close to the end for um, Maker BDC, uh, the move towards the upside. Eventually, we're also expecting a retrace, right? Uh, I'm still expecting a retrace, but I don't think we're going to go past the skinny pink line anymore. Even if we were to retrace, I suspect that we'll stop at around 20-something percent. Again, this is pure guessing. We still don't see any clear bearish reversal. Who knows, right? We might still continue all the way up. Just one straight line, for sure. But uh, you don't buy coins when they are overbought. You have to buy coins when they are over. So, not when they're overbought. So... Yeah, nope, 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 no. be patient. The opportunity will present itself eventually. Maker against USD. So for Maker, we actually had great targets when it was down, right? Um, it, it fell all the way uh, to our two targets over here. One is about 600 something. The other one is at 500 something. So yeah, we had these two targets uh, during the, the bear move for Maker. And now Maker is a first mover. The first two start rising higher, right? Again, if I were to count the waves, again, this would be a one, two. Okay, to be honest, we could be in the midst of a wave three, right? Four, five, something like that. Yeah, we could still go higher, but again, we are already moving to overbought territory. I could also count one, two, three, four, five. So you gotta be very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Maker. We're already above the skinny pink line, so we are already. Uh, approaching Maker with a bullish bias and we're expecting the bullish trend to continue for Maker. We have a clear target over here at 1008. We're at 1000 for another $400 more to go. I think we're going to hit parity with Ethereum. Uh, what's Ethereum's price today? Ethereum is at 1005. You know what's Maker's price? 1004. Almost at Ethereum's price. Crazy, right? It's crazy stuff. So, yeah, 1008. We're expecting 1008 for Maker. Ave. Okay, I feel like all the DeFi coins are doing very well, uh, especially lending borrowing. Anyway, for Ave BDC, yeah, uh, we have been falling down. We were like, mm, maybe this is the head and shoulders, right? Left shoulder, right? Head, right shoulder. We head down, zoop, right? But at the same time, uh, we can also pull a line across, right? And we can still call this a falling which falling channel kind of a chart pattern, right? We could, we could, but again, we're, we're not entirely sure though. We're not entirely sure. Uh, pff, uh, okay, we could be getting a squeeze over here, maybe. A, B, C, D, E. We break higher for Ave BDC, right? Absolutely possible. Uh, we made several attempts to break both the skinny pink line, but we failed. But uh, maybe we might we might start bottoming over here and start uh, rising higher, right? But at the same time, I still suspect we're going to take out these lows. So this might still turn into a bearish chart pattern as it hits lower. Ave against USDT has been in a long, long, long accumulation. And we're expecting it to reverse back up to 2, 3, 4. Five. Right, we already acquired this target way back uh, in May. And we're still anticipating... Um, Ave to continue higher, right? Uh, again, this is not your typical ABCDE. It is not textbook perfect, but this is still a huge consolidation coming on for Ave, and we would still expect Ave to uh, zip higher. But the thing is that yeah, I don't see the opportunity yet. Maybe, maybe if Ave did some, you know, gave gave us something clearer, a falling channel or something, right? Uh, but the wheels have not been kind to us. Uh, we zip lower, took out everybody's stop sell. I mean, shy of taking out these lows, and then we zip up, and then we zip all the way down. Up, are we gonna zip all the way down? Again, okay, we're not entirely sure. Um, yeah, but I kind of like what I see. Usually, when a bear trend ends, we go sideways for a while before going back up. So that could be what's coming for Ave, but we're not entirely sure. So we have to approach this with caution. Compound comp against BTC. Uh, again, all these three coins, right, show similarities. Compound against BDC, yeah, okay, I like compound in the sense that if we were to pull a line across, ladies and gentlemen, this is a potential inverse head and shoulders. 
<gasps> you see this? Poof, compound could be poof, amazing, right? If and when uh, <laughs> the zip up comes, right? So yeah, but at the same time, we can also also come lower, right? And this whole thing could be a a b c. We get a d e, and then we break higher. Something like this could happen as well. So yeah, again, we're not entirely sure though. Uh, we are aware of the possibilities of it turning to either an inverse head and shoulders kind of a bullish reversal or an A, B, C, D, E kind of a bullish reversal. Something like that. So again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, I suspect we have to give it more time. We can't be uh, rushing into anything yet. So yeah, not at this point of time. I, I can't call, um, you know, with clarity. Compound against USD, yeah, it's not as obvious as Ave against USD, right? Ave was actually in a squeeze. Lower highs and higher lows. Compound, not exactly, right? It's like a um, broadening witch. It's a broadening witch. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. We're under the skinny pink line, right? So, again, our bias is bearish for compound. I suspect compound uh, could still go either way. I mean, of course, we could zip up and we could zip down. Again, we're not entirely sure, so... Yeah, well, we're not entirely sure for compound. We need more information. Information. Liquidity. LQTY. BTC. Here we are for liquidity. So for liquidity, bro, what's this? Looks like a head and shoulders, huh? Left shoulder, very big head. Right shoulder, down. Yes? Doesn't look good to me. Liquidity against USDT. Um, yeah, doesn't look like there's anything. Can pull a line across, right? Mountains, mountains, big mountains, zip down. Again, you can also pull another line across, right? It's like a rising channel. Rising channels usually break lower. So next, it's a next coin for us. Venus XV SPTC. Here we are for Venus. Anything for Venus? Uh, okay, this could be a consolidation, right? Down, consolidation, up. But again, it's not what I would consider as textbook perfect. Still a consolida consolidation, nevertheless. Um, you could um, pull this across. Right, you can argue that this is, again, a consolidation. Um, mm, yeah, it doesn't look ready to me. Right, I suspect we'll be able to see moves eventually, right? Maybe December, January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <laughs> yeah, again, we'll, we'll see how it goes first, but uh, at this point of time, I still don't see it yet. So we'll just keep this um, KIV for XVS against USDT. Yeah, still not as obvious, right? Again, pull a line across, mountains, mountains, zip down, zip down. Uh, yo, bro, what's this? Yeah, not exactly that clear, so... We're gonna have to next Venus uh, XV SBTC. We'll X. Uh, we'll next Venus for now, right? So we are aware of the potential, but yeah, we'll come back to Venus eventually. Celsius, Celsius against USD. Um, I think there's more downside for Celsius. I don't think we're done yet. Uh, when I see this move, right? This consolidation move, right? Feels to me we're heading lower, right? This is reminiscence of this double mountain. We zip lower, right? Can you see this? <laughs> Double mountain. We're about to zip down. We are about to zip down, boys and girls. We are about to zip down. You can pull. Um, okay, no, it's not obvious. Uh, but over here, you can actually pull. Right, if we zoom in, you can pull a line across. And we're out. We're out of support. So if anything, yeah, we're anticipating Celsius too. Zip lower, right? Another 30 over percent. Celsius is not looking good. Um, if you have access to um, OKX or Max C, you can actually short it. <laughs> because it's on futures, you can actually short uh, Celsius. So I still expect uh, Celsius to hit lower. I think more likely than not. Yay, look at this. We have a target over here for Celsius at 8.55 cents. I don't think. It's looking good. Uh, I think we're going to drop lower. I think we're going to take out the lows over here. So more downside for Celsius. You can see that Celsius is a down only coin. It's always down, consolidate, down, consolidate, down, consolidate, down, consolidate, down. Da, da, yeah. It's a down only coin. So I think that uh, we're going to go blow past uh, 10 cents. 
back into eight, uh, sub nine cents. So more downside for Celsius network. Euler, EULBTC. Okay, we don't have it here. Euler against USDT. We'll look at it on gate. Okay, Euler is a little bit tricky. Why is Euler a little bit tricky? Let me tell you why. Um, if you look over here, this is a very nice, very nice squeeze, right? It, it, it's looking like an A, B, C, D, E, right? And you would expect a zip up to come for Euler. But at the same time, we are under the skinny pink line, right? And this could also, also continue, I mean, zip lower, right? To complete a C. Whole thing is an A, up for B, down for a C, D, E, break higher. We could do something like this for Euler. Things just aren't really that clear, mm, let's just say, for Euler at this point of time. Sure, uh, we could zip up, but there's also high risk uh, that we could zip lower. So I wouldn't call this as a high quality bottoming for Euler. So yeah, but, but if it does zip up, the target is at $4.30. You see that? Yeah, but we're above the skinny pink line if we were to do that. So not particularly confident, but this looks like a very nice ABCDE. So we're leaving uh, that possibility open for Euler. There you go. Mm, uh, no, I don't think so. We should do this. <laughs> we are under the skinny pink line. If we got something like this, right? If I say the skinny pink line was here and we are above the skinny pink line, right? Uh, then yes, uh, we go with a bullish bias. But yeah, the skinny pink line is here. It's not, it's not below. So yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna approach this with caution, right? Always stay safe, protect your capital. Maple against BTC. We just took a look at this last week. Maple against USD. Yeah, so for Maple, we have a target over here, 27 bucks. We got it since last week. We expect Maple to zip up eventually. This is a very nice bottoming that's coming for Maple. We are, again, you can see the volume over here, right? The wheels have already started making moves. Uh, but the question we have is, is this the bottom? Could we still zip a little bit lower before zipping higher? Right. Again, we're not entirely sure. We're not entirely sure. Uh, we're still under the skinny pink line though. So the bearish bias is still on. We're still open to the possibility of maple heading a little bit lower. So yeah, again, if anything, we'll be late. Break the skinny pink line, stay above the skinny pink line. Skinny pink line starts curving back up. Then we take a trade for it, right? So which means that uh, the zip up must happen first. We would like to see the zip up. Just zip up. And then once it takes a break, take a, takes a rest, right? Have a Kit Kat, then yeah, maybe we could uh, have a, uh, you know, make a move for Maple, but not at this point of time. We kind of like what we see. Uh, if we were to zip up here, consolidate here around seven bucks, right? Ooh, this is a lot, bro. Uh, 30, uh, sorry, 300%, that's a lot. So again, we'll have to wait for confirmation first before rushing to anything for Maple. True Fi, True BTC, here we are for True BTC, anything? Nope, True USDT, nope, nope, nope. Mm. Moving on, Ramp, Ramp BTC, Bitrex, anything for Ramp? Yo, no, Ram USDT, anything for Ramp? Yeah, no, nothing much for Ramp. So, yeah, there we go. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10, top 10 uh, lending borrowing coins by market cap. TA, technical analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta -ta.